Hi everybody. So this is my easy audition and headshot makeup. I did a very short version of this on Instagram and TikTok, but I wanted to take you through a longer version to kind of talk you through it, walk you through it for all you lovely YouTube people because it was like a minute video. So let's go through this. Um, it's really easy to do. Anybody can do it. Um, I'm going to start with foundation and for auditions and headshots, you want to keep it covered but natural. So I'm using this one by Hourglass and just blending it in. We want to see you. We don't want to cake you up with too much makeup. Um, so make sure you really blend. And then for concealer, I'm using NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just kind of putting it where I need it. Again, we're not going for stage makeup here. Just kind of want to make you look like your best self. So make sure you really blend that in. Um, and then I'm just going to set all of this with a translucent powder. I didn't show it, but it's the Laura Mercier one translucent powder. Just putting it where I need it. Um, I didn't want to cake everything on. So just set that concealer. So for your eyes, we're going to go pretty natural. This looks good on everybody because you just follow the shape of your eye. So I'm using the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. I have no idea if it's still available. And I'm going to use this kind of taupe brown shade. It's a little bit purple, but I have some natural purple in my skin. And we're just going to apply this all over the lid and under the eye. You could also use a neutral brown that works um, or some sort of flesh um, colored shadow a little bit deeper than your skin tone. Then we're going to use a light colored shadow and put that in the corner to lighten up those eyes, open you up a bit. Nothing crazy, just kind of make you look a little more awake. And that look works really well in photographs, by the way. I'm going to use this Makeup Forever brown liner. It's a coal pencil. Yes, I need a new one. That's kind of sad. <laughs> and I'm going to just line my top lash line. This is why this works on everybody. You just follow the natural line of your eyelid. Um, and just line it with the shadow, or line it with the liner, excuse me, because we're going to blend it out with a shadow to make it look softer. So just follow your natural shape. And then I'm going to use a blend of purples and browns. You just basically want to match the color of the eyeliner. So like a dark brown liner, a dark brown shadow would work really well too with the dark brown liner. And we're just going to blend it out. Just softening it. No harsh lines. Your natural shape. This is going to accentuate your eyes. Um to what they look like at their most beautiful. So then we are going to curl the lashes, per the use, and apply mascara, any one will work. Um, I have no idea which one I used. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use a Patrick Ta contour, and I'm just gonna very subtly do this, like halfway down the jawbone or cheekbone, and brush it into the ear. Super, super subtle, you guys. You also wanna hit your temples and your jawline just a little bit for photographs um, and in person. But we just want to accentuate the shape of your face. We're not trying to do a big contour. Then I'm going to use a blush. Um, this is Doll Face by Too Faced. And I'm actually going to go right up into that contour. We don't want to make you look too pink or red or anything in the face, especially for auditions. So we're going to keep it from the apple of the cheek backwards. Nothing too close to the nose. Just kind of blending up into that contour to accentuate it. To give you a little color but not make you look like you are out of breath and been working too hard for headshots only do not do this if you're doing an audition i'll explain it in a second we're going to use a highlighter on your cheekbones if you use a highlighter for auditions you're going to look extra sweaty don't do it not worth it but this photographs beautifully so right on the cheekbone and then my little trick um do i do it on camera yes i do is to put a little on my cupid's bow just a little on the cupid's bow. But again, if you do that for auditions, <laughs> you're going to look sweaty. So just skip the highlighter for in person. So for lips, I'm going to use a pencil. This is a long comb one that kind of matches my natural shade. It's a little bit darker, but it's, it's in the same family just to kind of give the lipstick some staying power. And then a fail safe for everybody is sort of a berry tone or a flesh tone pink. Either one will work. Um, if you want a little bit darker, go for the berry. If you want a little more fleshy, go for a flesh-colored pink. Well, you kind of have to find which one works for you. But this tends to flatter almost every skin tone, the berry colors. So that's it. Super easy. You look like the Disney version of yourself, basically. <laughs> and uh, you look like you, and you're just accentuated and supernatural. And uh, that's all. Super easy. So I hope you...